It may only be July, but the race for governor is getting ugly. Republican Meg Whitman has unleashed a slick TV ad on her opponent, Jerry Brown. But is it the truth? News 10's Cornell Bernard is here with a fact check. Cornell? Christina, the one-minute political ad by Whitman claims that Jerry Brown has been a failure, but the ad itself fails in the facts department. The Jerry Brown story. Meg Whitman's ad revolves around Jerry Brown's 40 years in politics. In the 60s, Brown enters politics and later serves two terms as governor. His big spending turns a surplus into a billion-dollar deficit. Fact check. That's misleading. Brown wasn't a big spender. California's deficit resulted from a deep national recession and Proposition 13, which Brown opposed. Brown appoints liberal judges who fight the death penalty, supports billions in new taxes, and leaves the state with record unemployment of 11 percent failure. Fact check. It's true to say he appointed liberal judge Rose Byrd, who opposed the death penalty, but the $7 billion in new taxes is not accurate. $2 billion came from an increase in the gas tax, which nearly half the Republicans in the Senate supported. The rest of Whitman's claim comes from a quarter-cent hike in the state sales tax, which Brown proposed but was not enacted. The 90s saw Jerry run as a presidential candidate against Bill Clinton. You know, he reinvents himself every year or two. Fact check. This part of the ad is accurate. After that bruising presidential primary, Brown and Clinton have yet to reconcile. And in the 2000s, Jerry was mayor of Oakland where he taxed everything from garbage to cable TV. Crime soared and he damaged the school system so badly the state had to take it over. Fact check. The ad falsely claims that crime soared in Oakland. The number of crimes actually went down by more than 13 percent. It's also false that Brown damaged the school system. As mayor, he had almost no control over the school district's budget problems that preceded his term as mayor and led to the state's takeover. We asked Meg Whitman about the inaccuracies. I stand by those ads. Jerry Brown is running away from his record because he doesn't want to talk about it. Jerry Brown is living in his own reality. The facts are the facts. Well, not according to Jerry Brown's campaign, who told me tonight, quote, when the lies get too big, people can't help but seeing through them, unquote. We're still waiting for Brown's TV ad in response to Meg Whitman's ad. Yeah, what's up with that? Usually if uh, someone is uh, attacked like that and they want to, you know, vigorously talk about their points, an ad comes out right away. They said all in good time. That's what they told me tonight. And it, it is a fact that Jerry Brown cannot compete with Meg Whitman's money at this point. However, he is saving as much money as we can. I think by September we're going to see some uh, vigorous uh, attack ads on the other side. All right. And when Jerry Brown does release his ad, we will truth test it as well. Thank you, Cornell.